Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is part 3 of our video tutorial series on React. And then, of course, in this particular video tutorial series, we're going to be creating an e-commerce website um, using React.js. And what we're trying to copy is the Amazon website, um, Amazon e-commerce website. So basically from the previous tutorial we already implemented the header and we applied styles to the logo and then the search box and the search icon and also we already added the um, links for example this one um, for this particular video we're going to be adding more links to the header so in order as uh, in order for us to do that, we need to go back to our code editor, and inside our header.js, we're going to add the um, another links or the other links for this header. Okay, so this is the first um, link. There you go, and then of course uh, what we can do is. Let's just add a comment right here. So this is first link. So the way you want, uh, the way you can add comment to the React JS is by using the curly braces, and then um, forward slash, and then semicolon. I am in asterisk, and then asterisk, and then forward slash, because we're inside the um, React component where we need to specify the curly braces. Okay, because this is um, JSX. Now, as I've said, we're going to be adding another link. So this will be for the second link. And what we can do is, of course, we can just copy this. Okay, and of course, we need to change um, the text. So for example, returns, this will be returns. And... Uh, the second um, or the option line two will be orders and orders there you go okay and let's set this to default to the root of our app or project and then we're gonna be adding third link which is for um, your Prime. So this is one of the links present in the Amazon website. So your Prime. And then there you go. Again, this is um, option line one and then option line two. And other thing that we could add here is um, we're going to separate this. So what we can do here is add the header nav. Okay, so that will be div and then class name header underscore underscore nav. And then of course we, we need to inclu include or surround our links with this particular div. So right here okay so let's um, save our file and make sure to see this the the result okay so save and we're getting the links displayed like this so the the first link the second link and the third link so it's displayed this way because we need to um, apply um, CSS to the header nav class name so header nav header underscore underscore nav and then uh, we need to specify the display type which is flex and then justify content space evenly there you go and save it should arrange our links this way 
so that's how powerful the display flex and we just added the justify content to have or to add space um, between links evenly okay so right after the third link we're going to be adding the basket so in order for us to add the basket we need to go back to our header.js and after the link let me indent this first so we could have a better view of our source code there you go um, after that we need to um, add the basket right so what we could do is add a link okay so the purpose of this link is to uh, whenever we click on it then we're going to be redirected to the checkout page because this is this is the basket or the cart for this particular app so the class name will be um, header underscore underscore link there you go and we're going to add another div here so the class name of our div will be um, header underscore underscore option um, basket okay and then we're going to add another icon right here okay so we need to add another icon so what we can do is specify the shopping basket icon okay so it will give us an error because we need to import that from material ui so in here import shopping basket icon from uh, material ui icons forward slash and then of course the shopping basket okay so shopping basket um let's refresh that shopping basket icon from material ui shopping basket there you go so we now have the um, shopping basket icon right here at the top right portion of our app so um, the next thing so let's just add a comment right here this is for the basket icon basket icon with number so it will display in this particular um, area it will display the basket and of course the number of items within that particular basket okay so after this we're gonna be adding the number of items in the basket so whenever we click the button add to cart then it should update or the number here should be updated so there you go um, class name will be um, header option line um, line 2 and then of course header underscore underscore basket um, count so let's just um, add number 2 here just for the sake of example on how the basket should look so there you go we have the um, value 2 now it's not a line right now so what we could do is add css file to that or i mean css styling so what we could do is add the header underscore underscore option basket and then display um, flex and then align items center and then of course the header underscore underscore basket count this is the actual value or the actual number that we are seeing on on the screen so margin left and then 10 pixels margin right will be 10 pixels also so let's try that save our header.css and there you go um, the basket and of course the number of items in the basket um, are aligned properly so that's how the um, the header should look like
we have the, the, the logo, the search box, the search icon, the links for signing in, the links for orders, the prime, and of course, the link for the checkout page or the basket. Okay, so we have added the links. Now, what we could do is try to work with our banner right here. So in order for us to do that, we need to um, um, add more components to our um, project. So I think the, the best thing to do right now is to add the login, login component. So what we could do is add another file for our app. So let's try to right click the SO src folder and then click this new file option and then we're going to be adding the login.css or login.js and then of course we need to um, add also the login.css for the styling of this particular component so the login.js will be um, it will be a functional component so function lag in and then open close parentheses and open close curly braces and then of course we're going to need to import the react from react okay and then of course inside our lag in we need to to define the form so we need to add the return statement and then of course, here we need to add a div with a class name um, login. Okay. And let's try this first. Um, we can say here div and then class name uh, and then login underscore underscore container. There you go. And then we could add the H1 element here. So sign in. There you go. And then of course we need to add the form. So in inside the form we have the element H5. So this will be for the email. This is the placeholder for our I mean um, the label for our email. And then input and then value uh, let's not add the value first let's just um, make the type into email email okay so let's try this save and of course inside our app.js um, file we need to add another route or route so uh, yeah another route route and the way to do that is we're going to be uh, specifying the switch. So switch, then we need to place this inside the switch, our header. So the header will be inside the root and then path equals for example um, check out and then we're going to be closing the root okay so we need to import this um, components from our react router dom so let's close this first so router and then right after that will be switch and then the road um, this is for the like if we want to go to the login then we need to be on this particular um, path uh, for example let's just if we want to go to the login page, then we need to specify the 
route or route login and then of course you need to specify here the login component but in our login component we need to export this export default and then login okay so that's login and we need to import that here import login from uh, login okay so um, switch and then yeah header login we're getting an error unexpected token 13 that's why uh, that's because we need to close our route there okay let's refresh this we're getting an error let's check okay let's try to go to login so there you go we have this output um, because we have added the h1 for our sign in we have added the uh, h5 for the placeholder of our email and then of course our input um, email which is or i mean input with with type email okay so i think that's it for this particular video guys and in the next video we're going to continue work uh, to continue to work with the login and sign up form and we're going to apply the css to make it more uh, clean to make it more um, uh, appealing to the user so thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video